there's things that stop you, but mm -hmm. there are techniques that you can use to get that flow going again, personally. Uh, right. what do you, what's, your, what's your vibe on it? Okay, well, first of all, I forgot to tell you this, that the my cure for procrastination is in the book. Okay. It's in here. Okay, so go to Amazon and get it. Yes. Um, but as far as writer's block goes, to a certain extent, I agree with you. I think it's a, it's like a defense mechanism or it's kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a creation out of some need for something. But this is what I suggest. Go to a movie. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I would say. If you have writer's block, if you're sitting there going, I can't think my way out of this, or I, it's not just I can't get going, I just can't think my way out of this. Well, I would say this. Go to a movie, take it easy, relax, forget about your thing that you're writing. Go watch a movie, sit in the theater for a couple of hours in the dark with strangers right. and and watch a movie and get lost in it. If you're writing, let's say you're writing a romantic comedy, mm -hmm. why don't you like go on Netflix and watch a couple of romantic comedies? Because you'll start to see how other people figured out what they were trying to do. Right. And it might spur something. You know, you might go, oh, yeah, you know, I um, I could do that. Not that, but I could I could see a way out of where I'm stuck right now. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, I guess I agree with you. You know, I, 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 yeah. I mean, you. There are moments when you're just like, man, where am I going to go with this? And I'll either watch a movie or I'll read something or you know, just kind of get other, get outside of what you're doing, whatever that might be. Even if right. it's going to a park and watching people watch, that yeah. alone could spark ideas. Um, yeah, and there's Walk just away. yeah, it's just different ways you can go back into your own past and your own stories, people you know. And start thinking about those kind of things, and, and it'll just come. But you just when gotta. People, be... Yeah, no, I agree. And when people tell me, for example, another thing that I have similar advice for, when they say, "You know what? I finished my script yesterday, and uh, I'm already rewriting it," I tell them, "You know what? Don't put it in a drawer, mm -hmm. and don't think about it for two weeks." This is what I usually say: Don't even think about it. Now, that doesn't mean start working on something else. It just means leave it alone because if you come back to it with fresh eyes, you'll notice things on your own with that you've never seen before. Yep. You'll see things that you were so used to reading and rereading while you were writing that they just became whatever, automatic in your head. But after you haven't looked at it for a while, it'll seem different and you might spot things that you like more or like a lot less. So before you rewrite, get away from it and then come back and look at it. And also, you know, if you're going to give it to your parents and your friends to read <laughs> and your wife and all that, just let them say what they want to say about it. But, you know, unless they're giving you the money to make it like people are, people don't read scripts. Even a lot of writers don't read scripts. So if you're going to give it to your parents and hope to get notes, what are your parents going to say? Well, if they're Jewish parents, then they're going to say, oh, my God, this is fantastic. I'm Jewish, by the way. Yes. I'm not like, you know, being anti-Jewish. I'm the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is like if I gave a script to my parents, if they bothered to read it, they would have said, oh, my God, this is fantastic. We're going to show our friends. Sure, sure, sure. No question. So you have to get real, a real critique from anybody that likes you. What are they going to say? This is horrible. Yeah, it's a rough place to be if you're put in that position generally, if you know the person, unless they really truly are good friends and you really do have uh, you're an educated reader, let's say, and give right. you really good notes, then that's a different conversation. Stop.